Right, what we're going to do now is look at, be focusing on shapes and the, and typography this time. So I've got a couple of logos here that I, that I like, I mean, that I see a lot too, Netflix and Showtime. So we're going to use the pen tool, I just want to show you the pen tool. For designing these we don't really need the pen tool, we're going to need it a wee bit in here. We probably won't need it for Showtime. But as we use these tools we're going to go, so we can go like this and if you want straight lines hold down shift and we get them like that see what's happening so it goes at 45 degrees um, if you hold down shift or you can go straight across like that so you can make a box pretty easily um, so remember with the shapes too if you come back here you've now got a completed shape see what happens there it completes see the, the square stopping however if I stop there notice it's got this weird thing here don't worry about that if you come over here and click Illustrator wants to finish the shape. So when we do an outline, we see that C in here, that shape's not finished. Um, but when we have it here, it looks like it's finished. It's not really. So I just go back in if I wanted to finish it and click here and here. And now it's a finished shape. So we might need that, remember, if we we're using that tool with the area type tool. But anyway, so that's one way you can make a shape. Another way is we just do this. If we want a curved shape, we're going to hold it roughly where we want our shape and we're going to pull down I'm holding the mouse down and dragging it out so if I wanted to make a nice wavy shape I'd go like this up here and then down you see what I'm doing there again we come and we switch it around the other way now I've got my wavy shape once you've got your shape remember you can come in and adjust it as well so I can come and click on these points and I can add points as well I could add a point there see what's happened the, the um, handles these are called handles have popped up I want this to be a bit more gentle, I might add a point. Then I can come in and get the direct selection and change these things around, see that? I might want to move these around and you can change your shape. So that looks a bit weird, I might pull it up. Remember you're going to be zooming in and out a lot. This is quite a slow way of drawing but uh, sometimes you can use that. It is quite slow so with text what I usually use is not this pen tool but I just use the shape tool and then I might modify that. Now again we hold down the little arrow and there's lots of choices and then over here there's even more choices so if you click here um, so in these this star tool and the polygon tool for example you can just select more than that so you can choose the number of points so quite often I like a really like like that heaps of points see what's happened there um, that's a quite a cool shape and of course same with the polygon tool if you if, if you wanted more you just click there and it's going to ask you exactly the same thing maybe you want eight sides and then we've got that shape you can change all these different shapes as as you want them but if if we have a look at this Netflix I'm going to use the shape tool right now and show you how I might use that so I see this Netflix it's quite hard to get a font doing what Netflix is doing here see this Netflix one see this curve around here it's quite hard to get that right so you you could get your font and stretch it out or you could cut the font um, there's a few different ways of doing it but I'm going to show you one way that I would do so I would use the shape tool and I come into the ellipse tool here which is a circle one and I'm just quickly going to try and make that my shape here the same as that arrow that they have got on there so what I want to do is I'm just going to use yellow so I can see it now what am I trying to do I'm trying to make that ellipse this is called an ellipse and I want it the same shape is the Netflix so no it needs to be a bit wider so I'm going to pull it down to make it wider I think that's closer to the right shape yep that's not bad is it and now I could muck around and get that exactly right but that's close to the shape I want so I'm going to leave that shape there I'm going to use it later on I'm going to make it a guide actually but I'll just copy it in case I need it again it took me a while to get that shape so what I like to do when I've got them is, is when I've got something that's taken me some time I always copy it it's very frustrating to go back when you change things and I'll just leave it off to the side there um, now I'm getting frustrated with this moving around all the time as well so you could use layers and lock layers or you can go directly into an object and lock selection so I've locked the Netflix now okay I've got Netflix over here let's get our font going on Myriad Pro that's the default font I don't want that I mean this is what we call a sans serif font so there's no like Times New Roman if we look over at the sides here these are all sans serif fonts um, and where's a serif one this one here Prata is serif Paul Richard up here is serif when they've got these little bits at the end of each letter that's a serif font 
Franklin Gothic is my go-to sans serif. There's lots of options with Franklin Gothic. Lots of designers use it. It's a popular one. Nice and easy. Looks really solid. Oh, the gills is good too. Um, and see what it looks like. So let's go with heavy. No, I'm not sure that's right. So let me, let's have a look at another one. Close. Still not quite right. So I th think it's sort of halfway between those two. So what I might do is make my own um, outline. So it's at one point there. Um, I'm going to just make stretch it a wee bit. You shouldn't really do that with fonts, but I'm stretching it because I think it's a wee bit more like that. Now when I hold down shift, I've got it right. Okay, I'm just trying to copy this, so I'm, I'm cheating a wee bit. Now that's pretty close to their font. I see the space in here is a bit different, but it's close. Let me just check a Gills font and see what that's like. Gills Sand, we'll check that. Actually, that's probably closer to the font. Again, I'm, I'm going to make that a wee bit bigger. So basically, what by doing the stroke, you it's exactly the same as making it bold. See here, I could make it bold. So if I do that, come back and make the font, I'm going to get rid of the outline. And if we do it in here, make it bold. See, it's exactly the same thing really, isn't it? Um, but what I'm going to do is use this one, and I think it's a wee bit thicker than that. That's that's pretty close. Now I see that they're kerning, especially with the E and the T, there's bits in here in the end. See this kerning's a bit close to mine, so I'll use that trick, the alt trick. That's about right. We see they have a big gap here, don't they? But a small one between the T. That's pretty close. So that's the first bit done there. Maybe it's slightly longer. I might just pull it down a wee bit, stretch the font. Only because I'm trying to recreate a font over here would I do this. Um, normally normally should you should not stretch fonts. But we can go in there and have a look what it looks like in there. You can do it that way. That's pretty close, isn't it? But I want to make it bigger still. So if I use that. So what I'm going to do is unlock this as well. I'm going to make this now a bit of opacity. So I can see what this looks like in front of it. So again, I'm going to come back now and lock that object, object, lock, selection, and let's drop that in front of it. Now we can see the Netflix logo there. Let's just make it a wee bit bigger. Yep, and I'm going to drop it down to there. And now we can see this shape here, can't we? Now I could just cut that across there, but of course it's not going to be right in here, is it? Um, so... I'm going to make my shape and then I'm going to change it a wee bit later on. So I'm going to move these two over here. Now it's good that I see this here because what's actually happening is it's slightly different to that, isn't it? It's more like these letters have been stretched out. So if I start from here, oh well, let's go back and think about what that's like. Move that over there. I'm going to do this slightly differently. I'm going to pull it in there. Ah, that's better, isn't it? Now we're much closer to that, what that font actually looks like. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is pull these shapes down and meet that shape. So I'm going to take that. As I said before, this has taken me a wee bit of time. So anytime something takes me some time, I just bring it across here and leave it off to the side. Now, this yellow one now, I'm going to make that a guide. I'm not really using that shape. I'm going to make it as a guide. So view, guides, make guides. Now see that's made a guide. That's what I want. I want to pull that right up. And what I'm going to do is pull these letters now down to fit that. Now what do I have to do to do that? I'm going to go up here and create outlines. So create outlines. Now I've got them. Remember, and I can stretch these letters out. Now it's all one object, so I need to ungroup it. Now I should better get it. See, I can get individual letters and manipulate them now. So let's go over here and get this. Um, now I've got my, I've got this exactly right here, haven't I? But just to make it even better. We're after exactness when we're working as a designer. I think that has locked. Let me just check. So yes, that guide's locked. I'm going to make it unlocked. And I'm going to select both these objects. Now, I, because I've ungrouped that, I need to group them again. Control group. Shift and hold that one down. And now I want to align them. Make sure they're aligned in the middle. 
Now see that move a wee bit there. That's a sign that it wasn't quite lined up in the middle. Now I'm good to go. So I've got this object now. I want to lock that guide again. View, guides, lock guides. This one here, what am I going to do here? I'm going to ungroup it. Object, ungroup, or shift, control, G. I use that shortcut a lot. Now I've got these things here. They're all set. It's actually taking a long time, isn't it? So let's go and have a look at this, this L here and see, a bit, see with the L what I could do. So what I'm thinking might be easier is we just, there's, as I've mentioned before, there's a lot of ways of doing things. So this I might just make that a guide this time. Guides, make guides. So I've got this L as a guide. What I'm going to do is actually just draw that on there. Now, as before, I want to use that to unlock them. I'm going to double this one up and use it again. If I get that guide there and hold down Alt, now you see I'm having trouble getting this right. Ah, there's the other guide. I'm going to move that one and again they have to be lined up exactly right, don't they? So this is where we use the power of Illustrator. So I'm, I'm just using that to get this L right. Can you see what I'm doing? I'm using these guides. Um, and that's, this is how you use them. I'm going to align them. See them just move ever so slightly. So now I've got some good guides to use. I don't need guides for straight up and down things because Illustrator will immediately go in. I don't need anything for the top because it's straight. And now we can see we've got that. And so what I'm going to do is the same thing over here with the E. Um, I'm going to get rid of these things. What I'm going to do with the E is, and I've got this funny little line under here which I'm not happy with. I'm going to make that a guide as well. And we're going, to, we're going to use these points. So let's just come in and do that. So now I've got all my guides set up. Let's do this L and then we'll I'll go back and work on the, the other one. So now I can use my pen tool. So we come in here and I'm, I want to be just a bit underneath that actually. And I'm going to come into here. I might change this later on if it's not right. Slight curve on it. So see I'm just pulling it out and that gets the nice curve. If I come back and click on it, see that V? It means it's near a sharp point. Now I'm coming up to that point. If I hold down shift, it'll be exactly square. Hold, uh, I don't want shift now because I'm going to make a curve, a slight curve. What do I do? I just wait for it to come into that V shape. And now I can use shift and just finish it off using shift. Come here, here, and down to here. And now I've drawn it the, the L. Now look, it's a bit weird here, isn't it, down the bottom. So why has it done that? Let's check that out. So I'm going to check the stroke. See this here? Maybe we put that one on and see what happens. Ah, see that happened there? How about that one? Nope. That one. You change, have it play around with those until it looks right. Um, you, you can zoom in real close as well because that has changed that point and it will have changed them all now. And now I do the same thing. It looks like it might be a wee bit too far down, a wee bit too thick, but let's let's have a look on the E. We're going to do exactly the same thing with the E. So it seems like a complicated way, but it actually doesn't take that long when you get it right. Just curve it around there. Come back on until it's the V shape. There we go. This one into here. Shift now because I'm going straight up. Now I'm trying to get that line exactly right in there. A wee bit of a curve. V, good. Now we can just use shift. Bang, bang, bang. Now, to get this exactly right, if I was duplicating the shape I had before, I could have done exactly what I'm doing now with the whole shape. And we see, ah, it hasn't quite made the point. Now it's finished. Same problem as before. Um, but there we go. Now we've got the E right and the L right. Um, and now the F and the T should be very close to correct. Yep, I might move them a wee bit though. If we zoom in really close. And here I'm sure we'll see that that's a little bit off. Yes it is. So let's make sure we can select on that letter. Why can I not select on it? Now 
Now we got it. Jeez, that took a long time. Let's come and check on there. What's happened there? So it just needs to come down a wee bit on the left side. Let's click on that. Got it? I think so. Yes, that's it. Do we got that there? Let's do the same thing with this letter. No, that's the guide, so I'm going to lock that guide again. Because I'm zoomed in so, so much, it's hard to see if you're locked on sometimes. There we go, that's pretty good. Let's get, now we've got these two over here. I think as we pull these shapes down, we might have a problem with this X. Now I have to be careful with this X that I get the line exactly straight, so I'm going to make another guide. Going to use this coming down the edge. We see that the, I can see that they're going to overlap there. Can you see that? So I'm going to make that a guide view, guides, make guide. And I want to better move that guide view, guides. They they all lock automatically. So I'm just going to move it over. That's about where it needs to be. So we've got a space down here. So now I'm going to move the whole. X across again we hold down the magic X that does almost everything for us now I can stretch it easier okay and that guide I'm going to double up and use again and put that there for the other X and we're going to follow the same pattern we've been doing before okay now we're, this is where it gets tricky over here isn't it so I'm going to get this and draw that down there, just follow it along. Well, I'm just doing this by eye actually. Doesn't matter too much. Depends how tri tricky you want to want to be. Make another one. I just copy and copying that one. So I've got one right and then the other one should be right too. And now we see I've got these points all set up nice and nice and clean, haven't I? Um, again, because this letter is like this, we don't need to. We're just gonna use our magic shift key here bring that down now I have to have a look did I just drop the whole letter yes see what I've done is I've just dropped the whole letter down that's no good it's coming and have a look we wanted to do this really close direct selection let's make sure that point and only that points moving yes that's what I want now I'm gonna now I can use shift see me using shift there and the same thing here yep now it's good shift down to there good this one here, remember, we can't use shift because if we use shift, what will happen? It'll go. Um, it'll. We we want it on a different line, so I'm using my guide. There's the guide that I have there, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this point. Use my guide. It's a wee bit inside. That's it. There. Same thing over here. We can use the guide. See, it's not exactly right. So I need to remember where it is. It's a wee bit inside. Same thing over here wee bit inside and now I think that's it we've got Netflix as we zoom out yep we've now made our Netflix so it was a wee bit complicated wasn't it but there we go just moving that kerning a wee bit there now the next thing is the easy bit <laughs> is we have originals so always keep the same font what font was that Franklin Gothic we're going to write originals with Franklin Gothic and hope it's similar does not look that similar unfortunately see the A is very different so that's not the right font oh that's gills let's see what Franklin looks like Franklin gothic medium that one's pretty close no not really still close enough we'll, we'll go with that one um, now obviously that's white it looks I'm gonna make that white see we can't see it now because um, we've got a white background now we need to make a shape so again we're gonna use the square shape I'm gonna I'm gonna just copy the shape here remember this is vector based so we can change the shape no worries at all isn't it no worries so we get that there there's my shape I want it black black see here switch that around no outline bring it in here now we're going to have a problem because these colors are different what I'm going to do now is object unlock that and I want to bring that the opacity back up again now to get this red color for the Netflix here if we notice on these I've got them all separate so let's 
group them all. Now, so I go object, group, control and G, and now it's one object, can you see that? Back to one object, which is good, that's what I want. Um, and now we see it's also that it's black, it's saying two colors. So what we can do is come in and use that red color there. See, I've just made it the same red as the Netflix red. Or we could just use our swatches. Um, I am going to put a little um, stroke on it as well. Now, it's not letting me do the stroke just yet. Let me come here and get the stroke. Let's come and get that. No, not letting me do it. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to add it to my panels. So swatches down here. Of course, I could just use this red that we've got here. Um, or I could change it from here. Because I've taken this from the screen, it's probably not the right red anyway. So I'm just going to switch these around and use that red. Now, it might be slightly different, mightn't it, as this one. So make sure it's when you selected it. There we go. So I've just made it a wee bit thicker. I think it was a wee bit thicker in the real Netflix. Um, might be too thick though. So see this? I'm going to make it 0.75. We're changing subtle. Very, very subtle. Now our color underneath is white. That needs a white outline probably as well. 0.5. Now let's see what these look like. They'll be lined up immediately. So we're going to use that one. Group them. Come and see what they look like. Ah, they're at the back. What do we do? Move that thing around. Control back. Now we see uh, some of these um, guides are showing. And I don't need the guides. Now, because I've finished with it, I'm going to go guides, clear guides. They've gone now. So now there's my logo nice and exact, isn't it? But I think that's to the original. So I'm going to, is definitely too... Um, thick or too bold so let's go in and I'm going to manipulate it myself and I think that that outlines to this 0.75 is too big drop that down to 0.25 that's better this one here let's drop that down to to 0.25 still too thick I think it might be so I'm going to manually change this to 0.1 see that I've made it much much smaller now that looks a bit more like it to me Let's zoom out. Now we've got another problem, haven't we? It's not quite in the middle. So I think that might be up. I'm going to nudge it up just using the arrow keys. I'm going to group these two together, make sure they're aligned together. Yep, that's good. Control group. Now let's align th this group with the box and make sure that I'm going to use those tools. Control group. That's it. So that's that shape. I'm, so I'm using a lot of the tools there to recreate the Netflix logo. Ah, that's interesting, isn't it? The Netflix logo is down a bit from the middle. Can you see that? It's not right in the middle. So I might use, because, because this object's, let's see what the object looks like. Outline. Yep, now I'm going to use some rulers and make sure that my square lines up with that, the square. So let's just go like that and that and use the align tool again and align to the top. And now we can see, yeah, that the Netflix is much lower, isn't it? So let's bring the rulers in. Rulers, show rulers. I'm going to use those rulers and see where this Netflix is coming in. Look at that. It's a lot further below where we had it, isn't it? So I'm going to ungroup and drop that down. Just nudging it down. There we go. There's our Netflix logo. Very close to the real one, isn't it?